G'day. Welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a question from statistics for high schoolers. goes as follows. When the mean, median, and mode of the list 10, 2, 5, 2, 4, 2, x are arranged in increasing order, hang on, hang on, what's arranged in increasing order? When the mean, median, mode of the list are arranged in increasing order, okay, so those three things, when those three things of that list are arranged in increasing order, they form a non-constant arithmetic progression. I'll have to take in what that means, but I'll do that in a moment. And the question is, what is the sum of all possible values of x? All right, this question actually feels scary to me. Um, hmm, I'm going to take this in. Uh, what can I do? So I'm not even sure how to begin on this question, so I'm just going to do something. In fact, that's the strategy. Strategy number two, if you're not sure what to do, just do something. Getting started can often help. So I've got this list of numbers. Great. I need to work out their mean, median, and mode. So let me just take in what those mean at least. Now the mean is the average. That means you add them all up and divide by how many there are. I could do that. So I don't know what that x is. That's the, that's the one I don't know about. The median is the middle number if you, put, if you arrange them in order. So I've got to put these numbers in order. So maybe I can do that. And the mode is the most frequent number, which looks like it's two. Actually, I know the mode. All right, all right, I feel I can do something. Let's put that list in increasing order. Except the trouble is I don't know what x actually is. I'm not quite sure where x will go in that list. All right, so I'll put the rest in increasing order. At least that's something. I've got lots of twos. So there's two, two, and two. Uh, there's a four, five, and a 10. Four, five, and a 10. And there's an x that goes somewhere depending on how big it is. So there's an x sort of floating around yet to be put in. Um, the mean, the mean, what's the mean? The mean, I said it was the average, so I add up all these numbers, 2 plus 2 plus 2, that's 4, that's 10, 25 plus x, that's one of the numbers. So the mean is 25 plus x over 7 numbers. Uh, median is the middle number. That's the one that scares me, I don't know where the middle number is, depends on where that x is. Um, if that x is down here, Oh, okay, I'm going to do this. If x is less than or equal to 2, that means x is somewhere down here, that middle number would be, oh, would be 2. The me, uh, median would be 2. If x is, well, if x is in the middle, if x is between 2 and 4, then that means x is the middle number. The median would be x. And I guess if the x is somewhere to the right, that means uh, 4 would be the middle number. There we go, if x is somewhere to the right. So if x is uh, bigger than 4, and the median would be 4. Ha! Huh. So there's three possibilities for what the median could be, what the median the middle number would be, depending on how big x is. All right, well, that's awkward. That's very awkward. Mode. The mode is most frequent number, 2. Something definitive. So I'm working with this number, whatever it is, this actual number, 2, and one of these numbers. What's the question again? If the mean, median, and mode are arranged in increasing order, oh gosh, all right, so I'm going to put these three numbers, whichever one of those is, in increasing order, they form a non-constant arithmetic progression. So what's that mean? Um, arithmetic progression, that means, okay, it's numbers that go up by certain values. So I've got some number up by some difference, and then up by that difference again. So A plus D, then A plus D plus another D, 2D. So I'm saying the mean, median, and mode form a non-constant one of these. So I guess the difference is not zero. They've got to be going up. Aha, aha. Which means I can't have a mode of two and a median of two. That's not going to happen. Because that, these two, two of these numbers can't both be two. So that tells me x is not bigger than two, x is somewhere in this range. All right, all right. This is feeling, feeling a little more hopeful. So that means I've got the numbers, hmm, well, okay, cases, cases. I guess I've got two cases. Let's do the case that x is between 2 and 4. So the case 2 is less than x is less than 4. And I guess I'll do another case that x is bigger than 4 on the right later on. Just trying to get myself uh, sorted out here. In this case, the median is x. And I've got the numbers 2, x, and this weird thing. Oh, so there are two possibilities. I've only got 2, 25 plus x over 7, and x. Or I've got 2... Um, x and 25 plus x over 7, but I've just realized I'm nervous. I put 2 first. Is 2 the smallest number? Oh, well, hang on, hang on. I'm in the case that x is between 2 and 4, so x is bigger than 2, so that makes sense. And either, oh, 25 plus x over 7. Well, if x is at least 2, this is at least um, 
27 over 7. Oh, that's definitely bigger than 2 as well. Okay, oh, covered. Both these numbers are bigger than 2, so I'm actually safe. They are to the right of 2, and I'm either in this situation or this situation. Oh, now I'm actually feeling hopeful. I'm now feeling hopeful. I might be able to work what x could be in this case, because I know this is a number 2. This is 2 plus d, and this is 2 plus another d, 2 plus 2d. That's two equations and two unknowns. I could work out what x is. Then I could do it for this case, work out what x is. What's the question? What is the sum of all possible values of x? I bet I'll get two possible values from x from there. Oh, this is feeling hopeful. This is feeling very hopeful. That would be this case, and I could do the same work for this case, get probably another two values of x out of all four possibilities, and I'd get the answer to this question. That feels good. I wonder if it actually works out that way. I guess the only way to find out is to do that work. All right? So then I'm going to invite you to do that work. In fact, give it a try, get an answer, and let's compare answers. Have a look at the essay that goes with this video. This is going to be very curious. All right, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.